My name is Dharam Shah. At East Bay, I'm studying Masters in Quantitative Economics. I'm from a western part of India, a small coastal town called Valsa in the, in the state of Gujarat. I like the view, it's up on the hill. I have been in Bay Area since last two years, but I had never heard about this. Hello, my name is Alyssa Suba. I am a student assistant in the Center of International Education. I'm also an Interaction Design Interactive Art major. And today I'll be interviewing Dharam about his experience as an international student here at Cal State East Bay. So what's it like being an international student at Cal State East Bay? It's been really great. My classes have been really good. The, the professors are really helpful. And I was able to even meet my professors outside of their class hour times. So it's been really good. Plus, I also work at athletics at the East Bay. I have been able to meet a lot of athletes and be part of their life too. And I have been able to attend a lot of East Bay athletics games. So I have been part of the culture. Mm -hmm. And overall, the life at campus. You said that you attend a lot of games because of your job. What do you enjoy most about like being part of the like athletics? My position is game manager intern. I am basically the first one before the home game starts, like three hours before. And I see the teams practicing, I meet I meet the refs, I meet the other teams' coaches. I get the playground ready. Like we get the, the tent set up, the speaker set up. I have to take over the staff that's gonna work that day. Once the game starts, I only have to like enjoy and watch the game. How have your professors and classes here helped you? They, are, they have been really helpful about replying to emails and helping me out with, with economics because I transitioned from sport management, had no knowledge of like Python mm -hmm. and our coding language. It was like tough to getting up to speed with, with those languages. I had like extra classes with my professor and I had to sit back and like watch videos at home to learn about the language. Quantitative economics, there's like lots of jobs now for analytics and everybody's talking about data, data, data. But really, if you look in the field, people don't know what to do with the data. So now it's the question of when you study quantitative economics, you learn the basics like a normal data set, what, how you can like analyze that data set, how does the organization wants you to analyze the data set and gets you, get you to a certain position. Like an example, like how East Bay is like provides like free shuttle service from the bus station to the college. Like you could analyze that data, like let's say in between like 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. there's like no one taking the bus. You could reduce the hours of the buses during that time and increase the hours during the morning time then when there's like so many people who have to like wait for another bus because there's no space left in the bus that's come. So that's how we, working on analyzing the data and Get, getting more efficient. What would you say to a student in your home country who is considering Cal State East Bay as an option for study in the United States? I would say should, they should really consider it. From the experience that I, I have had, like knowing people, talking to people, the way it works in the United States is totally upon us. Like, if you want to get a good job, you have to network, you have to talk to people, you have to stand out over there. It doesn't matter from which university you are coming. I would advise them to like create a LinkedIn profile, start networking with people. Yeah, thank you for your time today. Thank you for letting us interview you about your experience as an international student. Yeah, thank you, Alisa. Nice, nice talking, nice answering. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you.